Once upon a time in the quaint village of Longbourn, there lived the Bennett family. Mr. and Mrs. Bennett had five daughters, Jane, Elizabeth, Mary, Kitty, and Lydia. Mrs. Bennett was always anxious to marry them off to wealthy suitors. The excitement began when a wealthy gentleman named Mr. Bingley moved into the nearby Netherfield Park. He brought his friend, the handsome but aloof Mr. Darcy. The Bennetts attended a ball to meet them. Mr. Bingley quickly took a liking to Jane, the eldest Bennett daughter. Their mutual affection was obvious to everyone. Jane and Bingley grow fond of one another. However, while Bingley makes his partiality quite obvious, Jane is universally cheerful and somewhat shy. Meanwhile, Elizabeth Bennett met Mr. Darcy, who seemed proud and distant. Elizabeth overheard him dismissing her as tolerable, but not handsome enough to tempt me, which made her dislike him immediately. Soon Bingley invites Jane to his estate at Netherfield, but Jane, caught in the rain, falls ill upon her arrival. Seeking to help her sister, Elizabeth trudges through the muddy fields to Bingley's estate, only to be met by Bingley's arrogant sisters. Darcy, who is also staying at Netherfield, will grow warmer toward Elizabeth even as she sees him as haughty and proud. Mrs. Bennet and her younger daughters come to Netherfield to check on Jane, and Elizabeth is mortified by their foolish behavior and complete lack of manners. Bingley's affection for Jane grows. After Jane recovers, she returns home with Elizabeth. Shortly after, Mr. Collins, the Bennet's pompous cousin, proposed to Elizabeth. She refused despite her mother's dismay. And Mr. Collins ends up marrying her practical friend Charlotte instead. Meanwhile, militia officers have moved into the nearby town of Meriton. One officer, Mr. Wickham, seems to be an enemy of Darcy. He tells Elizabeth he was the godson of Darcy's father who had promised Wickham a good inheritance. According to Wickham, Darcy failed to fulfill his father's dying wishes and left Wickham without any money. This deepened Elizabeth's dislike for Darcy. When Bingley travels to London for business, Jane finds out he will not return to Netherfield for at least six months. In addition, Bingley's sister wants Bingley to marry Darcy's younger sister, Georgiana, in order to unite the two families' fortunes. Jane is heartbroken. When Jane travels to London, Bingley does not call her. Elizabeth hears that Darcy convinced Bingley not to marry Jane. Meanwhile, Darcy visits Elizabeth and confesses that he wants to marry her despite her low family connections. Shocked at his arrogance, she refuses him and accuses him of both ruining Jane's future happiness and betraying Wickham. The next day, Darcy writes to Elizabeth explaining that he objected to Bingley's marriage to Jane because of her low family connections and lack of particular preference for Bingley. Darcy also tells that his father had promised to provide Wickham with a living so long as he entered the clergy. Wickham both refused the clergy and squandered his newfound fortune. He also seduced Darcy's teenage sister, Georgiana. Darcy intervened before they could elope and save Georgiana's honor. Soon afterwards, Elizabeth goes on vacation with her aunt and uncle and agrees to stop at Pemberley, Mr. Darcy's estate, because he's not present. Darcy arrives unexpectedly as Elizabeth is leaving for home. Lydia, her younger sister, has run off with Wickham. Frantic, Elizabeth confides in Darcy, who blames himself for never publicly exposing Wickham's wickedness. The family fears Wickham will never marry the poor and foolish Lydia. Wickham has amassed a $1,000 of gambling debts. But when the two were found days later, Wickham has agreed to the marriage. Considering the size of his debts, Mr. Bennett knows that Wickham would never have agreed to marry a girl with so little money. In fact, it was Darcy who both found Lydia and Wickham and paid off Wickham's debts. Bingley and Mr. Darcy soon return to Netherfield Park. Bingley proposes to Jane, and Darcy tells Elizabeth that his affection for her has not changed. She then reveals that her feelings have changed, and she says yes to his second proposal. Darcy realizes he was wrong to act so proudly. Elizabeth accepts that she was wrong to judge Darcy prematurely. In the end, Mrs. Bennet is delighted that his two oldest daughters have married so happily and Mrs. Bennett is glad that her daughters have married so prosperously. This is Jane Austen's novel, Pride and Prejudice. I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to comment with which novel you'd like to hear next. For more stories, follow me here and on Instagram.